Hi, my name is Greg Shapland. I'm a technology manager with Orica Digital, and I am the host of the Practical Data Analytics and Machine Learning short course. My name is Iman Amini, and I am leading the technical services at Orica Digital Solutions, and I am facilitating the Practical Data Analytics and Machine Learning short course offered by us IMF. Back at uh, university, I did civil engineering and focused on geomechanics and, and blasting. And, and then I went in to work with uh, what is now Accenture for a number of years as a system integrator. From there, I implemented systems uh, across multiple industries before coming back to mining and uh, working with data mine and most recently with CRC Ore, where we developed uh, IES, the integrated extraction simulator. Well, I uh, started my studies at the university as a mine engineer, and uh, after that, I uh, started a master's program in mineral processing, focusing on flotation modelings, and uh, I started my PhD at the University of Queensland later on, uh, on flotation and combination modeling. So uh, the process modeling became part of my uh, hobby uh, rather than the job. And after that, I started working for different companies and the majority of my time was spent on development of the models and trying to find out the problems and operations and try to solve them and increase their uh, uh, productivity. Uh, I quite enjoyed that and uh, eventually joined the team uh, working with uh, other colleagues like Greg and basically develop these fantastic tools that can do that easily and provide solutions for miners and metallurgists like me. Yeah, so the flotation process is a separation of material uh, based on their flotability. So some of the uh, material hate water. So basically they are trying to run away from it. And that's the property we use to separate those materials from the rest. Uh, that can be done in, a, uh, in an environment uh, called a flotation cell. And then uh, it basically follows a, cert uh, a specific rate and there are number of phenomena involved in that process that we try to understand, measure, and then use it to predict how that separation is being done and at what rate. Through CRC Oral, which was a cooperative research centre, we developed the Integrated Extraction Simulator. It's a web application which allows you to model from uh, blasting right through to concentrate in as much detail as you require. So the power of doing modeling and simulation on the cloud means that in the past you used to do things like one or two simulations for an average sort of rock type. Now you're able to do thousands and even millions of simulations where you can look at the uh, variability of the ore, you can look at the different operating conditions within a plant, and you can get, instead of just average values, you get a, a confidence band and you get a much better understanding of, of the, the performance that you'll get um, in the future. Uh, basically, uh, every uh, operation generating data at every second. And these data are generated at different sectors in the mine. So uh, in the operation and in the plant, you are generating data every seconds. And these are about water consumption, about uh, power consumption, electricity consumption, and the conditions that ma the machines are operating on that. There are other parts of the mind that generates data about ore characteristics, like the lab. They assess the ores every shift and they generate the data uh, for that shift. So there are lots of data that being generated every shift or every minute. We have to collect that data and look at them and clean them and find out the correlation between the data and how they impact the uh, output or performance 
of an operation. So that part is data analytics. So basically getting all of the data and extract those uh, uh, correlation is part of the job that we call it data analytics and then turn it to a model that can be used to optimize those uh, performances is basically uh, the modeling and machine learning part. So uh, as, a, as, a, uh, as an expert, we should observe that data, clean them, understand them, and turn them to a model that can be used for improving the performance uh, for those operations. And often we can use them to uh, make decisions about when and where to mine, for example, or how we run the uh, equipments uh, in, in, for particular period of time. So uh, that's all uh, go together. Data analytics goes first, obviously, and then we develop uh, models using machine learning and we use it for making decisions and optimizing our operation performance. So uh, I think, um, firstly, um, there's been a shift in, in most industries in the last uh, five to eight years in terms of data analytics, um, where now we have what we'd call data specialists that, that didn't exist um, eight years ago. And, and so in the past, you'd have engineers that would go and get some data from a source system, do some analysis in Excel, develop some models, and then decide, make some recommendations and decide to take action. What's really changed from, from then is that now a lot of the data is stored centrally. It is um, wrangled by data specialists who produce often reports or analysis and, and those intermediaries are the ones that are preparing a lot of the analytics for consumption by engineers. What this course is about is saying, actually, as an engineer, the role is changing, that you don't have to spend the time to go and grab samples of data, that you're actually now needing to understand what is happening between the capture of that data and, and being produced or fed to them in the form of dashboards or reports. So their role is changing and they have to understand that. They have to ask better questions of those people that are preparing these analysis. And then they have to um, recognize their role in helping people understand what is really happening there. Um, I think everyone in the industry understands the, the quality of data issues that we often have. Um, they understand that the, the physics and chemistry where mining is a physical process, um, they understand those things. And these are particular aspects of the mining industry that, that needs to be combined with data skills to make sure that um, analytics is, is properly used in mining. So the practicality of what we're doing is not focusing on teaching people skills on programming in terms of using machine learning libraries. Um, it's not necessarily even about um, uh, manipulating data in some of these tools like Power BI. It's really about focusing them on asking the right questions and also guiding others to make sure that we get the right information and data and it's analysed in the right way that we can build models that we're confident um, represent the, the physical phenomena that, it, that exists. Greg, I would add to that as well uh, by mentioning that there are some decisions that can be taken uh, in an operation that are practical, meaning they are doable considering the time, resources and the type of equipments that are available at an operation. So basically looking at the data and communicating with the right people at the operation would allow you to make those practical decisions. For example, we cannot change uh, equipments in a shift or a week but we can consider expansions in a two years time. So 
uh, these sort of decisions can be wet, can be analyzed, and uh, based on the practicality of them, the different people from different um, uh, background can make the decision which ones uh, can be actually adding value to the operation. So those uh, information collected from the data and the models help you to generate set of data that can feed to your analysis and go through those practical solutions and find out which one of them can actually add value and pick the one that adds value most and pursue that. Yeah, I think just to, to round that off, you know, we, we've talked about analytics for its own sake is, is not valuable. It is ultimately the decisions and outcomes that, that you derive from that data analytics and machine learning. And that's that's really the focus.